Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to access older versions of modern websites from the year 1994 up to the year 2010 on any iPhone today. So you see, this is the Apple website from 2007 from the iPhone first just came out. So a lot of this stuff is you cannot use these older sites for buying and doing stuff anymore. You can only use them for like going to the tab, learning about stuff and going to see the past. It's all this for like show and tell and learning. So let's get started. And so in order to access older versions of the websites from 1994 up to 2010 on any iPhone is, first thing is go onto Safari, then go to the old.net up in the URL bar on both here. But it seems to work better on the older iPhone. I do not know why, but let me turn my brightness down. But this seems to work best on an older iPhone, like the iPhone 4S and lower. I do not know why. You can see it looks much more realistic on the older one. So for now, I'm going to do it on here. Then go up to the top where it says, like this section here, and type in apple.com. If you type in just Apple, then go, it'll take you straight to the Wayback Machine instead of the archive from this site. That's why. So what I'm gonna do is select the year 1999 for this demo. Hit go. It's a little slow. All right, there we go. Now it's loading Apple website for 1999. Just like that. So you guys can see this is what Apple website in 1999 looked like back then. The this the iMac, the transparent one back then, they had the iBooks, the Power Mac G4. But something even the guys may not know, on Mars, NASA released a pro, um, rover a couple, like a decade ago. And the processor that's powering that rover in, for Curiosity is actually the same one from the Power, Power Mac G4 and the G2s, which is very interesting, actually. I learned that from YouTuber Mark Rover. Rover. All right, so now I'm going to do it again, but for the year 2004. Now that was the year of the iPod Mini first release. See, I actually have a working one. Let me turn down, turn off the backlight. See, this is a working iPod Mini. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Now it's loading the website for 2004. Because I was too young and all that, so I didn't know anything about Apple website back then. You can see this when the Power, the Power Mac G5 just came out as well. So up here, I can click iPod plus iTunes here. Yeah, the original iPhone a little slow with this. Perfectly normal. Guys, right, so the web the page has finished loading, and you guys can see now it shows the previews of the old iPods, plus the iPod Mini, which was new for 2004, like this one. This is the same one you guys see right down here. It's very hard to see this, but it says 2004 right there. You can see I can now go into the archive and learn more about the iPod Mini. It's introducing iPod Mini, and this is the four colors: silver orange, blue, pink, and green. I have the pink one right here, which more like a violet purple sort of pink. So you can learn about the click wheel and all that, the iTunes and all that. Very incredible here. So I'm gonna go back and do another one here. And then I'm gonna do one more, which is from the year 2007, which is the year the original iPhone actually came out. All right, there we go. The web page is now loading. This is when Mac OS Leopard just came out, like OS X Leopard. You guys see here? Sorry, my thing keep running with click sometimes. Go up to the top and I tap iPhone. And now if I give it like a few seconds, yep, there we go. The Apple iPhone page for this phone right here. It's incredible what you can do with this site. You can learn about the old iPhones. You can learn more about what they can do and all that, something you never knew about. So this is back, this is when iPhone OS 1.1 came out. What I never told you guys is that there's no like specific date, like month and day. It's just for the entire year in a certain range. That's how the site works. See this iPhone OS 1.1, I could tell by the iTunes Wi-Fi music store. I know this because I rewatched the old keynote from, two, from the 1980s up to now. That's how I know that. All right, so now I'm going to go back and do Amazon next. Amazon.com. 
Only, but I learned that Amazon's website, the archive, will only load if you select the year 2007. It won't load anything farther back than that at all. I do not know why. And just like that, and that just like that, Amazon's old website now loads. I want to show you something else that I can actually compare the newer website to the older website. Just like that, see? This Amazon from 2007 on my 13 Pro Max is the current version. Was version 19. And just like that, you can see the layout look kind of similar here, but it's more organized. There's no categories on the sides anymore, like on the newer one. Oh, way around, I meant. There's no categories on the newer one, but there are on the older. It was just much more organized. See, Amazon, very different. I was way too young. I was like six years old to seven, so I was unable to afford it back then. Sorry, I closed out the webpage by accident. Next one I want to show you is ATT. Sorry, the auto correct is correcting me. I'm going to select year 1994 for AT&T. Believe me, it works. So I just have to give it a second here. It's a little slow. There we go. See, AT&T now loads. So this is AT&T's website from the year 1994. Now I want to compare it to now. Give me a second here. Sorry about that. Okay, got it. So here's AT&T's website now compared to the older one. You can even see at the top corner here, the website logo was very different back then. You see, that's the old website logo. This small one here is the new one. See, very different. The texts are different too. 1990 style. I don't know exactly what style. Yeah, this is the 1996 version. So... It, so if you go somewhere like 1995 to 4, it'll pull up the 1996 version like this one. Uh, that was a at and website in the early 1990s, which is 1996. Sorry, I keep closing tab out for some reason. I do not know why. All right. The last one I want to show you guys is CNN. Sorry, my notifications keep going off. So CNN.com. This will also work for ABC News and stuff like that. Even at ESPN will work. But for ESPN, I want to warn you guys, it only goes back to the year 2001. Same for ABC News and all that kind of stuff. All right, so there we go. CNN is now loading from the year 2001, just like that. So basically, you can use this little thing here to go back in time and learn about recent news from the old days. Now I'm going to do one more. ESPN.com. From the year 2001. Alright, so it just takes it a second here. Oh yeah, so sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Let's try the year 2005 instead. That should do it. Hopefully this fixes the problem. Sometimes my phone can be a little finicky sometimes. Okay, there we go, finally. Yeah, so 2005 for ESPN seems to be working just fine for like sports and all that. So this is the ESPN website back in 2005. Incredible. Now I'm going to get it on the newer phone as well. I've never gone to ESPN on these phones before. So I see 2007, 2005, and then 2022. You can see how different they look. It's incredible. All right, so that is how you access old versions of modern websites on any iPhone from 1994 up to 2010. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give this a thumbs up, this video. Peace out.